Hi everybody, it's Bubbly4041 and I am back with my next model horse related video. In this video I'm going to go over my placings from Card Shark Live. It is one of my more recent photo shows that I have taken part in and it happened this past summer, kind of end of July, early August. It was hosted by Bethany Shaw and it is traditionally a live show, but due to COVID-19 she switched it to a photo show format. So it was really nice of her. It allowed me to take part even though the live show version traditionally takes place outside of my region, Region 10. So that was really nice. And I did fairly well overall. Had a lot of horses entered. There was a two different OF divisions, one for bigger guys and one for smaller guys. Um, and then in addition to customs and things of that nature. So I'm going to go over all my placings. They were placed first through sixth place in each class in both breed and collectability. And the ribbons were paper flats for third through sixth place and then satin ribbons for first and second place, as well as the traditional rosettes for divisional and overall champions and things of that nature. So we're going to go ahead and get started and go from kind of lowest placing to highest placing as is traditional. I do have uh, written on a little notebook the placings for each horse, whether it was in breed or collectability, as well as the number of entries per class. So you might see me carrying that around. Uh, don't be bothered by it. I just want to let you guys know kind of what the uh, classes look like um, that they were entered in. So without further ado, let's get started. So starting off down here at my lowest placings, I have these two guys. This is my Ambrose model. His name is Divine by Design. And this was kind of one of the first shows that I've done with him. I've done a couple this spring he was in, um, but he's a newer guy to me from the end of last year. So he ended up getting a six in just collectability. He was in the Appaloosa class, and I don't recall whether it was split into mares and geldings and then stallions or not, because he is a stallion, so I don't know if he was shown with them or, or how it was exactly, but he got a six in collectability out of, let me see... 53 entries. So that's pretty good. Um, definitely a lot of entries and just to pull something is is really good, especially where they did not split it up, as far as I know, between stone and briar. So he was showing with stones and such as well. Really awesome dappling and awesome details on him. And then moving down from the OF Plastic Mini Division, we have this girl. This is Dust Bunny. Haven't had a chance to really show her yet in live shows. I did take her to Briar Fest last year. I think, but uh, that's pretty much been her live show experience, and she was able to pull a six in collectability as well out of 34 entries in the mini division. So that was pretty good. She was in some kind of light, like other light breed type class. Um, off the top of my head, I don't have the classes written down, so I'll just do my best, but that was her. And those are my only two just six places. Um, there is another horse that got a sixth place, but he also pulled a higher placing, so I'm going by the most highest placing. So moving on to fifth places, I have a couple of fifth places to go over. The first fifth place we'll talk about is this guy. This is Sprite. He is my Briar traditional companion donkey. He's a really cute guy. And uh, he pulled a fifth place in breed in his class. It was just the traditional like donkey class. I think it might have been other stuff besides just donkeys. And his was out of 11 entries. So fifth and breed out of 11 entries. And then we have this girl. This is one of my stone foals here. This is Uptown Girl, or that's what I call her. She's a one-of-a-kind from 2015 on the Arabian Yearling. And she pulled a fifth place in both breed and collectability in her foals class. Um, I had her in other pure part foals, but then I think I was asked to put her back in the light foals, and then it might have been split up further, so I don't remember exactly what hers, what her class was, but she did get a fifth in both breed and collectability, so that's pretty good. And then moving on, we have this guy. This is one of my newer Stone Morgans. I call him um, King of Thieves. He has um, really nice dabbles. And he just pulled a fifth in just collectability in the OF traditional Morgan class. And that was out of 28 entries. Just in collectability, nothing in breed. But he's lovely. He's a lovely model. And then, of course, we have this guy, one of my favorites. This is my pretty extreme custom Stone Foundation Quarter Horse by Audrey Dixon. This is a love story, and he got a fifth place. I think in just collectability. Let me double check for you. Um, yep, just collectability. Out of 40 entries, he was in the other pure part stock breeds class. 
And he just got a fifth in collectability. And I think that was it for my fifth places. Now we're going to jump on to just my singular uh, fourth place models, which there is two of. We have this little guy back here. This is Eagle Spirit. He's a little JCPenney Briar Mustang. I love his color and his expression. He's just so cute. And he was in the mini Mustang class, and he got a fourth place in breed out of, it looks like, 40 entries. Let me see if that's right. No, 37. Excuse me. 37. Out of 37 Mustangs, he got a fourth in breed, which is pretty darn good. And then the other fourth place model is this guy. This is, I call him Princeton, but he's a little Stone Pebbles Arabian. I showed him in the other Pure Part Mini Pony Breeds class, and he got a fourth place in collectability, I believe. Yep, collectability out of 17 entries. So that's pretty good. Moving on to just the third place entries, third place uh, results, I should say. This is my glossy LV Integrity. I call her Sister Rosita. And she got a third in collectability. And they split up uh, Arabian not by stone or briar, but by she was in the herbal, like being sculpted by Bridget Herbal um, class. And that was, I think, 37 ish strong. Yep, 37 entries. And she got a third in collectability. So that's pretty good. And these placings are really cute. She combined, usually I think Card Shark is, the shark one is like her, her big guys, and then she usually has another show with the owl for smaller guys, so it was kind of combined, um, which I thought was cute, and the ribbons are cute for the paper flats and the satin ones as well. And then my a couple of the third places here, this is Swinging on a Star. He got a third place in collectability only because he's a unicorn, so no breed uh, applies in just the fantasy collectability for traditional guys, and his was out of 22 entries to get a third in collectability, so that's pretty good. He's a really lovely model. I wasn't sure which one I wanted. Obviously, everybody wanted um, Cole the Donkey, but I'm really glad with the gold unicorn. I think it was my favorite color out of the unicorns, so it's a really lovely guy. And then my other third places here, we have this girl. This is a little stone weanling, Twist and Shout. And she got a third place in collectability out of 50 stockful, traditional stockful entries. So that was pretty good. She's a cute girl. So that was her placing. And then my other third place here is uh, really probably one of the placings that I'm most proud of just because of the size of the class. We all know that Arabians, Thoroughbreds, and stock horses, specifically quarter horses, tend to be really classes with really high numbers um, in any kind of show. And this is my newest stone-ish model. Um, I call him It's Corona Time. And he got a third place in breed out of an astounding 85 entries. So that is really spectacular, I think. I'm really proud of him for placing that well. He's just a lovely model. And um, really, really pleased with that placing for him. So... Add a third place to uh, his placings. That was that was his. That's all my third places. So now we're going to go on to the second and the first places. So I got quite a grouping of second places here, and we'll go over them. Um, so first off, we'll start over here. This is my little um, Claws, Briar Claws model. I call him .com, and he got a second place in breed and a sixth place in collectability in the um, same class that Princeton was in. It was like the mini other pure part pony type breed class. So that was really cool um, for him. Really happy with the second place for breed for him. So really nice. And then this girl got a second place in breed as well and a fifth place in collectability. And she was in other European pony possibly. Um, but this is Paloma. She's just a little design of chips, stone, and gray. Really cute girl. I love her face. She has a really cute... That might be the closest it'll focus. A little cute snip marking there. Really cute. So, really pleased with her um, breed placing as well, for sure. And then this guy also got a second place in breed, which was pretty cool. Um, 
This is Celebrity Status. He's my single day uh, jersey, I think was the wife name. Thoroughbred guy. So I gotta put him, I have to put him over to the side to get him to focus because that's where my thumb can reach, try to get it to focus. Um, so really happy with him. Uh, he got a second place in breed in the mini thoroughbred class. And his was out of, look at the placings here, 59. Wow, 59 entries in the uh, mini thoroughbreds. So that was pretty cool for breed for him. And then Paloma was out of uh, 19, 19 entries. In the same class that Paloma was in, and I think it was European Pony, I showed this girl as well. This is my Peter Stone um, Little Pebbles American Saddlebred model. This is a class act, is what I call her. And she got a second place in collectability in that class, so that's pretty great. Oops, sorry about that. So really pleased with that placing for her. She's a lovely model as well. And then my other second place for collectability was this girl. This is Faith. She is my little stone designer chips stock full with little wings and a horn. She's adorable. She doesn't always place extremely well because she's just a designer chips. I don't know that she's super limited, um, but I just think she's cute as a button. I mean, I just, she's the cutest thing. So always love to take her to shows. Everybody thinks she's adorable. And she actually did pull a second in collectability in her fantasy mini foals class. Actually, it just might've been mini fantasy. I don't think it was split into foals or adults. And that was out of actually 39 entries. So pretty happy with that. She's placed worse in um, less competitive classes. So pretty pleased with that. And then my final second place here is this guy. This is Spring Awakening. He's my stone uh, 2013 designer horse, Morgan. And he got a second place in breed in the same class that uh, King of Thieves was in. And he got a second in breed out of 28 entries. So King of Thieves got fifth in collectability. And then this guy got second in breed. So again, he always tends to do really well in photo shows, but he doesn't do that well in um, live shows. He's never pulled higher than a third in a live show. So really pleased that he can do well in the photo shows at least. And that's him. So finally, we'll go on to my first place models um, and then my biggest winners um, at the end. So we'll kind of move on that way. And I do apologize about the lighting, guys. Um, the, we're going to be entering when I film kind of at nighttime, so the lighting is not going to be as good because um, we're not getting as much light during the day. So entering that phase here pretty soon. This is Moxie. She's my little Schleich donkey. I bought her at Obishan Hardware for like $7. Um, and she's placed really well for me, actually. She got a first in breed and a fourth in collectability in her mini donkey class and that was out of 15 entries so pretty pleased with that Let's see if I can try to get it to focus a little bit more there so really pleased with her placing and then moving on um, we have this girl this is heart and soul she is she was in the same class that Twist and Shout was in, the traditional stock voles class, so about 50 entries or so. She actually pulled a second in breed and a first in collectability, so that was pretty cool. She's not a one of a kind or anything. She's just a limited edition of 30 pieces from 2012, Equilocity 2012 to be exact. And um, really, really pleased. So this is Heart and Soul. And she got a first and a second, so... Really happy with that. Again, she's one of the horses that she doesn't really always do that well for me in live shows. So pleased that she um, was able to pull that for this show. And then moving on, um, no surprise here. This is Kings of Twilight. He's my Briarfest 2012 raffle model, Carlisle. The love of my life, love of my collection. Um, I have a lot of favorites, but he's definitely near and dear to my heart as being the only raffle model that I've ever actually won. And he got, unsurprisingly, a first in collectability. Nothing for breed, but a first in collectability um, in this show. And he was in the traditional other pony, other pure part pony type class. Um, and he was in, how many entries? 18. There was 18 entries um, in his class. And he got the first in collectability. So 
really, really lovely guy. I'm always happy when he can place for me. It's hard to tell because it won't want to focus on him, but he has lovely mapping and lovely details. And just does not want to focus on his face right now. Anyway, very happy with him. Always happy when he places especially in, in shows like this that can be very competitive even just for photo shows so really pleased with that and then finally my two highest scoring models um for this show were these two guys so on the left here we have my newer stone trotting drafter this is finnegan's wake that's what i call him he is a one of a kind from 2011 Really nice details on him. I just did a video about details on him, so check that out if you haven't seen it. And he got a first place in the... It was traditional um, American draft. Pretty sure it was just American draft. I show him as a North American spotted draft horse. And he got a first in collectability, actually. He didn't place in breed, but he did get a first in collectability. And then he went on to win the... I'll grab the rosette here. The Card Shark Photo Edition Reserve Champion for collectability in the draft section for the traditional models. So that was really, really awesome. This is his first rosette with me, so that's really great. He's a lovely horse. He's a lovely model. I'm really excited to actually bring him out into the show rings and live show him eventually, but really pleased with that photo show placing for him. So he did a fabulous job. And then my actual biggest winner <laughs> from this show is this guy. He's very tiny. Um, this was my only OF mini foal to place. This is Quimby. He is an older guy. He's on a Generation 1 stock horse foal mold. And he's just this cute little, I don't know, chestnutty type thing. I don't really even know what his color is, but he's really cute. Um, I've seen this, this mold show well uh, for other people, and his condition is fair, you know, for his age. And he actually ended up pulling a first place in breed in his mini stockfuls class. And then he actually pulled the, I think it was for the whole OF mini foals section. He actually got champion in breed. So that was really spectacular. I was not expecting that at all. This is probably one of his first, like, actual placings with me. Not even rosettes, just a placing. So that's really phenomenal. Um... And he just did really well. He definitely gets some shiny marks. He has some scuffs, but you can't really see that in the photos. And he is really cute. So really, really pleased with that for him. And I'll look real quick just to see what their entry numbers were out of. Um, Finnegan's Wake was out of a class of 20. And his was out of a class of 42. So that's pretty, pretty awesome for them. And then the one other horse that I want to go over, and I'll move uh, Carlisle out of the way here. They had a door prize, um, just door raffles. You didn't have to buy any extra raffle tickets or anything. You just had to be present and be an entrant in the show to be um, part, to participate in this raffle. And I was actually pulled for one of the highest uh, raffle valued items, which was this guy. I won a new inbox. <laughs> Um, glossy Latigo done it in the raffle, so that was really awesome. I don't have a lot of OF Briar quarter horses, and this model isn't particularly one that I would go and just buy myself. But now that I have him and now that I won him, he is a really nice model. Um, the confirmation on this mold is not my favorite, but I really do love this color. And you guys know me, gloss anything I love more than matte anything, so. Really happy um, to have won him, to have had that kind of luck. It doesn't strike me often, so really appreciate it when it does. And he just has really lovely shading and really lovely dapples. And like I said, I just think that this color is really, really great. Um, and Briar doesn't do it a whole lot, so really pleased to add him to my collection. Uh, he's just, I just have him and another Roxy pretty much for my OF Briar quarter horses. So really pleased to have him, to add him to the collection. This is really wanting to make him... Uh, look a lot lighter than he is, but he really is quite a bit darker in real life um, than this is making him appear. But he's a really lovely model, so very happy to add him to my collection, to add him to my show string, 
and uh, really happy with him. So his show name is going to be Some Kind of Luck, because some kind of luck that I was uh, pulled for him and was able to win him um, at the show. So really awesome. So overall, out of my live show experiences, well, I guess photo show experiences, but I did really well with my raffle luck with him and then my rosettes for these two. Um, so overall, it was a really good experience. Happy with my placings and looking forward to the next photo show um, that I'm participating in. So I am participating in Pumpkins and Ponies uh, virtual photo show this year. It's a live show that I've always aspired to go to and just never have been able to make it. It's in New York, so it's a little ways away from me. So really happy to be doing that, and I'll let you guys know what the results are from that. Again, Tax Memory Video is coming soon, I promise. Just a couple more weeks, maybe, but it will be out. If you have any other questions or concerns or comments, please put them down below, as always. Um, go ahead and watch my other YouTube videos if you have not yet. Always appreciate that. And I hope you guys have had a fabulous weekend. Have a great week ahead, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.